A news report is talking about stock, but the stock candle is giving a bird, an animal protection organization with the word we kill animal on their building. All of this is done by a hacker group. Welcome back to Mr. Spectre. Today I'm gonna recap and explain a 2014 German techno thriller film called Who Am I? Buckle up, spoiler ahead and let's begin. Benjamin says his life is like many superheroes. His father left when he was born, so he never met him. When Benjamin was 8 years old, his mother also left him, sadly by suicide. Benjamin lives with his grandmother and has been friends with computers since the age of 14. Despite having an eventful childhood, Benjamin was always optimistic that his fate was similar to that of superheroes. Indeed, he is shy in real life, but on the internet, Benjamin is a talented hacker. Most of the time Benjamin spends on the darknet and it is here that he meets his idol, MRX, a mysterious hacker whose identity is unknown. He's wanted, with his feats known throughout the hacker community, Benjamin aspired to be like MRX. While delivering pizza, Benjamin accidentally met Murray, the girl he had a crush on since his school days. Knowing that Murray was having a hard time with the upcoming exam, Benjamin decided to help her. But unfortunately, he was caught by a security guard. The judge found no criminal record, so Benjamin was forced to do community service in lieu of a punishment. When doing public service work, Benjamin met Max, a colleague in the hacker community. Contrary to Benjamin, Max is a charismatic, very cocky and confident person. Later, Max invited Benjamin to a party, where he introduced Benjamin to his colleagues. Software master Stefan, who has a crazy, adventurous personality, Stefan can find bugs in any software. Next is Paul, hardware freak. Just give Paul one paperclip and mainboard, he can magnify them into anything you want. Benjamin successfully passes the test, proving himself a skilled hacker by hacking the electrical system and causing power outages throughout the city. The next day, Benjamin meets Max, and Max explains to him the concept of human nature to trust and fear conflict, thus creating social relationships and thereby using tricks to get what you want. Max thinks this is the best form of hacking. Together with Paul, Stefan, Max, and Benjamin, they successfully completed the first mission. They then decided to form a hacker group, called Clown Laughing at You, abbreviated as Clay. The headquarters of the Clay group is the house of Benjamin's grandmother. After he listened to the doctor and sent his grandmother to a nursing home, due to her terrible Alzheimer's disease getting worse. From there, the Clay group caused chaos around the city of Berlin, in the form of pranks, which gradually amused the online community. They became popular on social media. However, MRX, idol of both Benjamin and Max openly mocked them. Infuriated, Max became agitated, wanting to do a more royal mission and so Benjamin proposed to hack the main building of BND, German Central Intelligence Agency. Impressed by this outrageous idea, the group agrees with Benjamin to hack BND. Using a fake link and trick an employee named Gertie, who is in charge of printing magnetic cards and issuing access cards, to gain access to the BND building. With just a simple trick, the whole clay group easily broke into BND and hacked internal server systems and printers with the purpose of printing the group's logo with the words, the clay group is here, no system is safe. They did so in the hope that the mission would resonate enough to impress MRX, but when it was over, they went to a club to celebrate. Benjamin saw Max kissing Marie, Benjamin is angry, he returns and refuses to let Max and the other clay members into the house. Recall the relationship of Benjamin and Marie. Since the time they met again after 10 years, as fate had arranged, Benjamin had many other times accidentally met Marie, she also realized that Benjamin was a classmate who often sat at the back of the class. Their relationship also became more open. Even once, Benjamin could not control his emotions, went to kiss Marie and was rejected by her, which made Benjamin feel inferior. In a split second lost under control, he contacted MRX, sending him a valuable gift, which was database information from BND's private servers that Benjamin had secretly stolen, without letting any Clay members know. Of course, this impresses the MRX. When the Clay group returned the next day, Benjamin was still very angry, he even attacked and rushed into a fight with Max. At this moment, Paul accidentally heard on TV that one of the members of Friends, nicknamed Krypton, had been murdered. Talking about Friends, this is a hacker group consisting of four members, Sikdet, Tobo, Krypton and the last member are unknown. Friends is the culprit of international cyber security attacks and the information that this group steals, is purchased by the Russian cyber mafia. With a serious nature, it has led Inspector Hanna Lindbergh, Europol's cybercrime investigation team leader to go on the hunt. Back to Benjamin and the Clay group, the group is now listening attentively to the news about the death of Friends member, Krypton. Specifically, investigators found on the victim's body data stolen from BND. There is a list of secret employees of the agency and Krypton is one of them. Terrified, Benjamin now admits to his team member that he provided the information stolen from BND to MRX. With Krypton's death and Benjamin's confession, the Clay team figured it out. That MRX is actually the fourth member, also the only anonymous member in the Friends team. 
Besides, he was also the one who sold these datas to the Russian mafia, leading to the death of Krypton, after being discovered to be a double agent. Just because of Benjamin's anger, pushed Clay into the biggest suspect and labeled them as a terrorist hacker group. Because the night before, the four of them were the ones who messed up with BND. The doorbell rang, it turned out that it was Marie. She came to find Benjamin because of his sudden disappearance last night at the party. In order to have time to find a way to solve the urgent matter in front of him, Benjamin said unpleasant words to Marie and sent her home. In order to find a way to get rid of the crime, the whole group of Clay contacted MRX, assigned by him a task, which was to install a Trojan horse into Europol's system, so that MRX could infiltrate the Europol database and control it. Besides, he also gave Benjamin a spare key, so Benjamin could access his darknet, which they would use to trade. After receiving a mission from MRX and successfully escaping during the chase of Inspector Hanna Lindbergh and the Europol investigation team, Benjamin and the Clay team plan to use the same mission assigned by MRX to unmask him. Stefan calls it the pregnant horse scheme, planning another Trojan horse inside the same Trojan horse that MRX gave them. This way they will trace back to MRX and learn his true identity, used it to prove that MRX was the one behind Krypton's death and the Clay group got away with it. But before implementing this plan, Benjamin and Max dissolved the hard drive and acid in here. Max took the initiative to apologize to Benjamin for his actions and words, and acknowledged Benjamin's presence as an important factor in the group. After that, the group burned down Benjamin's grandmother's house with the aim of erasing traces, cutting off the tail. The Clay group set off to Europol's headquarters in The Hague, the main purpose of which was to find a way to break in, but could not find their way inside. Despite trying all the tricks to no avail, even the building's garbage storage area and the underground sewer area are tightly controlled by security. Mike even gets a nail through his hand in the underground sewer. However, while checking around the building, Benjamin noticed a group of scholars visiting Europol, and one of them accidentally dropped his visitor card. Back at the hotel, Benjamin thinks it's his fault what happened, so he must be the one to get the group out of this. By applying the very things Max had taught him about human nature, trust and fear of conflict, Benjamin went to the Europol building alone. Using the visitor card he picked up, fooling the security guard by claiming that he had just entered a visit and accidentally lost his wallet, his father is gonna kill him if he can't find it. This resented the guard and he let Benjamin go inside. Finally, Benjamin succeeded in installing a virtual Wi-Fi device. From this virtual Wi-Fi, any employee at Europol who logs into the network, Benjamin will be able to access their computer. Completing access to Europol's internal system, in the darknet, Benjamin provided MRX with a secret encrypted entrance through the Trojan, where the trap was set, just one click of MRX and his mask will automatically fall. However, MRX is not as stupid as Benjamin and the Clay group think, he has predicted the group's plan and used the backup key to find Benjamin's IP. MRX had reverse access to Benjamin's laptop, using the laptop's webcam himself, capturing his panicked face. This made Benjamin's identity officially revealed, forcing him to hide under the subway station, trying to escape from the Russian mafia who were chasing after him. Returning to the hotel, Benjamin realizes that this game MRX has won, he is one, Benjamin zero, even, all of his teammates have been killed. Having no other choice, understand that if he doesn't hurry up, friends and the Russian mafia will come to him. Benjamin decided to turn himself in and confessed everything to Inspector Hanna Lindbergh. But before he surrendered, he also made an appointment to meet the Marie of his dreams. Knowing that Benjamin was the one who hacked into the university system for her sake to get the exam papers, Marie gave him a kiss. At Europol's interrogation room, Benjamin confessed everything to Inspector Hanna, to prove that what he said was true, Benjamin also read aloud the insurance records and Hanna's personal information, making the female inspector convinced. She agreed to include Benjamin in the witness protection program in exchange for helping Europol capture friends and their leader, MRX. Benjamin logs into MRX's darknet account as himself and self-discloses information about MRX's identity along with the fact that he was the one who killed Crypto. This forced the real MRX to log into the darknet servers using insecure methods and was discovered by Benjamin. The FBI quickly found and arrested MRX with the real identity of Sean Dunham, a 19-year-old guy from New York City. Before arranging for Benjamin's release and new identity, Inspector Hanna inadvertently noticed a wound through his palm similar to that of Max after accidentally getting a nail pierced through his hand. Suspicious, Hanna decided to investigate Benjamin. The inspector also went to see a family doctor and learned that Benjamin's mother had multiple personality disorder. She killed herself because of this disease and it can be hereditary. She also went to find Marie and received an answer that Marie did not know or communicate with Benjamin ever, in her eyes, he was just an eccentric. Connecting plot holes in Benjamin's story, Inspector Hanna realizes that Max, Stefan and Paul are all characters created by Benjamin's imagination, they are all him. Clay is also Benjamin. Returning to the interrogation room, 
Inspector Hana confronts Benjamin and tells him the truth along with the announcement that people with mental disorders will lose their right to witness protection. However, instead of taking Benjamin to court, Inspector Hana relented, allowing him to access and change his identity to the witness protection program. The inspector released Benjamin and said that on the condition that he never hack again. Benjamin with his new look, his hair dyed blonde, stood alone on the scanned lines ferry heading north. Around him, Marie, Max, Stefan and Paul appeared one after another. Turns out, it's all a magic show, where the magicians are Benjamin, Max, Stefan, Paul, and Marie. After being exposed, Benjamin returned to the hotel and sent the three clay members to run away. Benjamin didn't say much to Marie either. When she came to find him, Marie helped the group confirm that mentally ill subjects could not be protected from witness protection. Even the wound on Benjamin's hand was an act. Together, they planned to let Benjamin come to Hana and control the story, deliberately giving plot holes for Inspector Hana to curiously solve. When he won the sympathy of Inspector Hana and gained access to the witness protection program, Benjamin wiped the identity of the group. When asked by Paul if he was afraid of Hana checking, Benjamin casually replied that she checked, but she wouldn't hunt the group down, because she got what she wanted. Indeed, the scene ended with the press conference, announcing the defeat of Friends and MRX, Inspector Hana had a satisfied smile. And that was the movie, I hope you enjoy it. I'm Jack Black and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.